shut out the Hornets in the first half. Coach, was any adjustments made at halftime that we can see? Um, not just a whole lot. You know, we do a better job on defense. I think they come out and, you know, we didn't do a good job at first, but we, we found, uh, found what we were needing, and, and hopefully offense, we can just keep it going. Okay, Coach. Thank you, and good luck. Go Trojans. All right, and that's Coach uh, – Boyce Dixon down there at the sideline. Our halftime interview with Coach Dixon was brought to you by Wayne County Rock, who's the expert for land clearing, building pads. That's Wayne County Rock, 722-3300. And we're just uh, about a minute away from getting the second half started. Wayne, uh, uh, you heard Coach Dixon there, you know, he said he, he – Want to play an even better defense than what, they, especially where they started out, and hopefully they can get the offense going a little bit more. Well, we need to watch, Mike. They're, they're you know, they're going to throw the ball the second half to try to catch up with us. So sure. our secondary needs to be, be keep their eyes on the ball, and of course we need to keep blitzing like we've been, keep uh, that quarterback stirred up. And the Trojans will receive the ball to begin the second half. They will still be going. They'll be defending the west goal, but. Moving the ball to the east goal, that will be from left to right, right to left. Okay, which which hand have I got up? Okay, all right, from right to left. As you, as you listen on there, I'm sure you can imagine that you can see that. All right, so they're getting the the team coming out, and getting ready to kick the ball off. Let me find my roster again. I don't know what I've done with it. You see. If you're playing on the grass, get off the grass, unless you're a football player. Do you see my – where did my roster go for right. Thank you very much for your help. Not sure what you've done with the mic. Here you go. Yeah, let's just put it over here between us. Session stand tonight, sponsored by the Colin <laughs> Askew Band. All right. That's Grant Morris going to be doing Cherry the kicking off Sunatina, for Roadhouse. the Hornets. Uh, and they've got a coupon for their place free after he pushed a field goal to the, to the right first half. He approaches kicks. This is a high kick. Going to be taken back at about the 10 to the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That is Harrison Rich returning ball. I'm going to call for 35 to about 36. That's about a 26-yard return by Rich on that one. Nice, nice return by Harrison. Nice return. So the Trojans will have the ball, first and 10, at their own 36-yard line. As we get ready to start the second half. The 36 yard line, first and, 10. and we'll see. It looks like Wyatt Smith is going to come back out and continue running the offense. And he did a good job. Had a couple of breakdowns there in the first half or a couple of busted plays. But he did a pretty good job of running the offense. So Coach Dixon is going to try to stay with him. He'll work, operate out of the shotgun on first and 10. He's got a wide out to the left and right. And he's going to hand this ball off into the backfield to his fullback. That's Jackson for about a three-yard game. Three yard game. As he'll the play for the Hornets. be three. down right at midfield. So it'll be second down and 12. Second and 12. That gets the clock running. Game of three, Start second down and 12. I guess pretty Get chippy the down started. there, you know. It, the yeah, this, uh, you can there, There's a lot of pushing and the hitting and the, after the play is done. It is, yeah. It's both, both teams now. This is both ways. You know, uh, players, uh, you know, it's the end of the season. Yeah. Working out some frustrations. Yeah. Smith goes under center. Several wideouts. Gives the ball to Jackson again as he's carrying people now to the 45. Yep. And still flag flying straight up again right there in the middle of the pile. I'm going to say it was against the 41. Flag on the play. Probably some more mouthing. No, hit the back after the play was over. Hit it in the back after. Okay. Yeah. He ended the play right at about the 41-yard line, so that's a gain of about 11 for Jackson. And it is another personal, personal foul against the Hornets. Against the Hornets, you're right, Nate. Uh, you got the call up here, so they'll mark the ball after. They'll tack that, should tack that on from the 41, should be down somewhere around the 26. Jackson, no, that will be first down from there. Mike, if their coach don't get a get a hold on this pretty soon, you know, 
you see Wayne, the, uh, you see the officials, they're writing stuff down, you know. These personal fouls get called on these players, and they, you know, they can they get ejected. Get ejected. So, and that's a number of them already on them. That's three or four personal fouls called, you know, which is probably the unsportsmanlike. The referee is not, he's not giving the unsportsmanlike conduct of waving the arms. He's just giving those personal foul, you know. Yeah. But we can, you know, we can put two and two together, you know, then know that's what it is. So they will assess the penalty and move it down to the Huntland 26-yard line, where it'll be first and ten from there. You know, I mean, Huntland don't want to go to the Huntland. I mean, this is last game of the year. Right. I understand they're getting upset, but, you know, they're hurting themselves more than they're helping themselves. They are. Man in motion here. Handoff goes to Jackson again. He's hit right around the line of scrimmage. He's going to get to about the 25. I think he might get a short gain here. And they'll keep it at the 25. It should have been at the 26. So it's a give him a yard. It get it to the 25. Give him a yard. Be second down and nine. And that keeps the clock running. Just a little over 10 minutes to play in the football game. Trojans still leading 12 to nothing. And. Was this the out? Oh, we're, we're getting there might have been an injection here on this here's a handoff into uh, that's no he's pulling it out here's a push to the head down to the 20 the 10 all the way touchdown there's another one Mike. the flag comes in at the end that's that's the flag. Flag. number 15 number 15 that was an excellent run excellent pitch yeah, beautiful yeah. beautiful yeah. option yeah. run yeah. on there that's pitched it right over there to Blake Benton who took it down it's the score from the 25 yards out. Flag Next comes in at the end of it. Number 15 hit up, hit up Sanderson in the face. He's number 15 yeah, on there, that would team. be Grant yeah. Jernigan. He's gone too then. So yeah. That's two ejections, Mike. So the players are, uh, they're. 63's been ejected and 15's been ejected. So the touchdown good. counts. So that's a 25 yard touchdown. For Blake so far, I guess the heart. It's 9.46 to play. So they'll, uh, they've got the extra point pending. And, well, one of the officials, they're all going to uh, converse with the uh, head coach for the Hornets, you know. So they'll get back and get the extra point, try it. On the way, Mike. I don't want. I don't want to point fingers, but that was just a little too obvious. He was standing right in front of the referee when he when he uh, slapped Sanderson in the face. Yeah, I mean, he, right in front of the ref. I mean, there's no point in that. Be smart. You know, you know how football is. I mean, you get out there in, in battle. There's no use of, of, of any kind of conduct. Well, even if you do, be smart about it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you on that. Yeah, I mean. Uh, hey, look, ref, watch this. That's what happens, <laughs> that's in, the, that's what happens in the middle of the pile, not standing out here next to a referee. Yeah, right, right when he goes into the end zone, just reach over there and slap somebody. Okay, so now we'll get ready, and I, they, I think they're going to keep the offense on, on the field. They'll line up in the wishbone and go for two. He's going to hand the ball off to Jackson. He'll go inside and diving for it, and I think he came up short. So... The score will remain 18 to nothing with 9.46 to play in the football game. I'd say the penalty would be on the kickoff on the line. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't assess anything on that. And if I can have your attention, please, you keep playing in the end zone area. You need to be moving. This is not uh, playing on the grass inside the stadium. You know, on a Thursday night, with a long way to go back home, you don't want to go back to that kind of mood either. Hey Mike, we still got a lot of game left. This could get ugly. It could. Oh, so we'll we'll still I haven't seen any more updates on any of the scores lately. The Moore County is actually uh, haven't yet, but I would like to tell you that there to is seven. no smoking inside the stadium. That may still be a halftime. Or I don't know. Fifty feet of any entrance. This is by order of the Tennessee State Fire Marshal's office. We'll we ask that you do not go on the field after the game. 
Kids, you're not playing the grass during the game. If you kids will get your ball and get off the grass. Thanks. I'm going to try to see so if I can get somebody to find me some scores here. I like, like the interest. That has some interest in those counties. games. Uh, again, the Moore County, you know, that's pretty much academic. The other region game contest tonight there up in Eagleville. 